Hello everyone! In this video we will show the features and the configurations of an Odoo module security user roles, which was created by Fautools. The module allows managing security settings in a batch. So instead of configuring the rights of each person, you may configure the roles and then assign them to a number of users. The module makes it easier to assign access rights by combining them into a particular user role, which can be further assigned to various people. This way, instead of configuring rights for each person, you may configure roles and then assign them to all related users. For example, it might be useful when you often need to add new users with similar rights. So you can configure the role, for example, project manager, and then assign it to each of them. The module has a convenient interface where you can manage the existing user roles, create new ones, assign them to the users, and define advanced rules for the temporary assigning or removing roles to users. To open the interface, go to General Settings and click on the option Users and Companies and User Roles in the sys tray. There you will find the list of created user roles with the users that have those roles assigned. To find the required ones quickly, you can use the searching, filtering and grouping options. For example, you can search the user roles by the related user. And here are all roles assigned to the user Anita. Let's create a user role purchase manager. For that, click the button create, write the reference, choose the related users, Set security groups. Then optionally temporary activate or block certain users. We will talk about it later. Then click Save manually. After that, the role will be assigned to the selected users and their rights will be recalculated. You can see the assigned security roles in the extra column roles as you open the menu Users in the Kanban view. The roles are highlighted with the help of different colors. To change the color of the role, just click on it on the user's card and choose the color. In case you don't want to highlight the role with the help of the color, tick the option Hide in Kanban. It is also possible to create a security role based on an existing user. This way you can significantly save time in case some of the users are already created and their access is set. For that, just open a user and click on the button Create Role. After that, the security role card with the set of the user's access rights will be opened in the editing mode. You can introduce the reference and some changes before saving the result. If you change something here, it will not result in changes in the user card, which was used as a template. In case there is a need to create a new user with a certain security group, you can also do that right from the security group card. Just click the button New User in the top right corner of the security group card. You can add some extra users to the security role by editing it or by assigning the role 
in the field roles while creating or editing a user. As the changes are saved, Odoo would automatically add the required security groups. If some of the users should have additional roles, you can assign some more user groups to them. For example, let's add a security role KPI manager to the user with the role project assistant assigned. As you see, at the moment, there aren't any KPI management roles. As we add the role KPI special and save the changes, then the KPI management role of the user changes to KPI manager, while the access related to other security roles is left the same. If there is another security role assigned that adds the same right, the highest in the hierarchy right will be assigned. For example, our user Jeffrey Kelly has a role salesperson assigned. It changes the sale right to user on documents only. Then we assigned a purchase manager role to this user and save the changes. After that, the sales access right was changed to administrator. As the sales access administrator from the user role purchase manager is higher in the hierarchy, so it is assigned to the user. This way you can assign security roles in any combination to reflect employee order rights, or leave roles empty to administrate very specific users manually. The module doesn't forbid changing user rights after assigning the role, since there might be users without roles. However, keep in mind that with the next role update, or with assigning or removing a user role, groups of the current user will be recalculated. So for a user with security roles assigned, it is preferable to avoid assigning individual access groups. To change the rights of multiple users, it is enough to update a security role. It takes a few seconds to reflect changes in policies or in the set of installed apps. This way you can save time greatly in both the initial setup of user groups and in further updating of users since you should make a change only for a role and not for each user. The module allows setting up advanced rules to assign a user to a role temporarily or to block a user for a specific period. This way, once set, there will be no need to remember to change the security role after some time. The module will do that for you. To that goal, go to General Settings, Users and Companies, User Roles, open a user role and go to the tab Temporary Activation and Blocking. Click Add a Line, choose a user, choose the action. When you block a user for some period, it means that he or she would not have the security role assigned for that time. During other intervals, this user would be reassigned for this role. For example, such rules can be used for vacations and other type of time off. When you activate a user for some intervals, it means that he or she would have the security role assigned only during those periods. At other times, such a user would not have this role and access right. For example, it might be essential for substitute or short-term employees. Then set the period of time. Each rule might have a few blocking or activating periods. Then, if any of those are suitable now, the rule would take place. For example, you may assign a few vacation intervals for a single user. Optionally, click Add Line to add another period of time for the rule. Then click Save and Close. Keep in mind that the rule should be unique per user and role. Otherwise, upon saving, the warning will appear. In case you want to specify several periods of one action for the same user, add those to the same rule. As the security role is activated deactivated for a certain period, 
The list of the users on its card and the list of the roles on the user card are updated accordingly. If the rule is active, it is marked by the lightning icon in the column period. Otherwise, the rule is inactive and doesn't affect the user roles anymore. The app will periodically check the rules and the block activate users for roles when that is assumed by the rules. You may change the frequency of checks under the menu settings, technical, automation, scheduled actions, security user roles, activate block users for roles. To launch the check of a particular security role manually, you can click the button Refresh in the tab Temporary Activation and Blocking. I hope this video will be useful for you. Feel free to contact us to try the module in the demo instance. See you in the next videos.